It's a 250,000 square foot building, a seemingly regular office. Inside though, the labs look straight out of a sci-fi movie. Basically anything that has an on and off switch has got uh, semiconductors um, as, as its brains. So they're in everything. It's no movie, but a classroom, a working lab, an important research space. How many chips would be in a, just in a standard car? Yeah, there can be hundreds of chips in one car. This is Zachary Holman, an associate professor in the School of Electrical, Computer and Energy Engineering at ASU. He recently took us on a tour of the lab that's specifically used for semiconductor chip and solar cell processing. Before we came into the lab, we had to put on this special gear, a mask, hairnet, gloves, smock, and these booties as well. And we're not trying to protect ourselves, but rather the material that's being researched and worked on. There is about 40,000 square feet of this so-called clean room space. The gear protects the chips because even a small particle of dust or hair could ruin them. ASU doesn't focus on producing chips, but it develops and processes thousands of these wafers per year, each with many chips on them. We have graduate students that are discovering new things. There's few things as exciting as being part of a team where you discover something that nobody's ever discovered before. From electrical engineers to computer scientists, Holman thinks the future looks bright for those students. The future is fantastic for anyone who's going into, into microelectronics, and that is a wide cross-section of people. And the future is bright in more ways than one, as our world becomes increasingly electrified. And ASU has partnerships with companies that share that space as well. And while that lab we showed you isn't necessarily new, students from the new School of Manufacturing Systems and Networks will also learn in that building. Pretty cool stuff.